Hey everybody, and a welcome to the next game that I'm going to play, which is Dragon's Dogma. A game I've been waiting for a very long time for, because it originally only came out for consoles, and now it's here for PC. A mix between Dark Souls, influences from Monster Hunter, not, Have you a light source? not as difficult though as I heard, but still quite challenging. And some cool dynamic combat where you actually mount giant monsters and uh, have the pretty dynamic combat with that, so... Pause. It is another very westernized Japanese RPG. We should hurry. I'm very excited to play it. We near our journey's end. The final station of our long struggle. This was the one game always, the, the one RPG that I was so sad that it didn't come out for PC. And now, though late, it's here. Yeah, so, so things like that. So your party members will actually do stuff in the battle. So they will open, or they will get loot, they will grab people, will grab enemies for you to kill them. They're quite effective. I mean, in a way, it has some MMO feelings like that with the dungeon crawlers. Watch your step. Uh. So through this you get pawns which are helpers and some of these obviously not these two but you can create your own pawns and select their behavior and their, their, their things and basically your friends or other people can download them and have them add to their army so that's kind of cool. I'll go at once. It is our valor pit against well. the worm's evil. Careful! A goblin! A hobgoblin arisen! Be wary! Leave it to us! Yeah! Let's fight! Was the feet of Rain steel upon it! Even in numbers, a weakling is weakling still. Oh my god, I can pick up dead enemies, okay. Can I not pick that up? Oh, B. I think in, in terms of looks, you can definitely see the Dark Soul influence. Uh... You have to wait a little bit for the giant monsters, for the monster hunter influences to come. Here in Japan, actually, there is a um, a sort of sequel to this called Dragon's Dogma Online, and basically that's literally sort of the monster hunter thing where you go with a party and you go and hunt monsters or slay monsters for better loot. Well, there we have our first big monster. This is... This is also the complete edition, so it has the DLC expansion. The game was actually re-released for consoles, having a whole new area, spreading a few hours of new gameplay, new bosses. Right this way. Come, master! Including, I believe, the devil that you can see on the front of the game and of my thumbnail. So that's kind of cool. I guess that's a harpy. We'll perform. 
former weapon skill. I see. It's kind of difficult, this true. Like, it, it throws a lot at me. <laughs> but whatever. Of course, where's an expression of sheer terror? I'm playing this with the, as you can see, with controller. I think that is the preferred way to play it since it was, of course, made with consoles in mind. Hold on. Can I make that jump? Can I sprint and then, like. Yeah, okay, cool. But, you know, the game is, um, I think, back. was released back in 2012, and you can see that definitely where the graphics are, you know. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary. Runs very smoothly, of course, though, because of that, though. That's that's a good thing, I guess. I bet you. Can I throw it? Oh yeah, I can. Ooh. Could have gone wrong. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna join the fight. And one thing that's kind of cool is even though that this uh, game is made by Japanese, since it's the setting is Western, if you buy the game here in Japan as well, you will get English uh, voiceovers. Oh, now. Did it. Any time. Now where do we go? I guess we're going to fight humans Survivors. now. Let's join. Oh, or not. Snow hobby. Again? Oh yeah. I'll help. Come on guys, help me out here. Throw them down and strike. So basically again, it's it's the old, you know, MMO stuff. The taunt. The buffs. It's kind of classic in that sense, but it's kind of cool. Arisen, this way, sir. Oh wow, no, we have actually a kind of a big army. I should be proud to guide you. We've hidden away here for fear of the beasts all around. Arisen, this way, sir. Cannot suffer the worm to work any further. This looks interesting. Hmm. See, this is so good that they grab loot. If in case you missed it, our army is routed. It is plain truth. I feel it close by. Beyond that grand door, the dragon makes its roost. There's so much talking going on, though. Any item here? Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, he's dead. Oh, oh, oh Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, we're going to fight that. Jesus. I can actually also be a mage if I want to, or a, uh, a bow user to grab onto. So yeah, I'm going to now climb on the beast, and so this is pretty cool. Where I'm now on top of it, and I could also gra uh, grab its tail and stuff. But let's say I would be a mage, or, you know, a distance uh, user. Then my NPCs will actually perform this and climb on top. Yeah, she, they, they can see. He, he also climbed up, so that's really cool. 
Uh oh. Can we can we climb on a tail? Now I'm on top of the paw. Oh, got a lot of damage there. Running. I need some healing. Oh, I actually am yeah, getting healed. All right, we got one dot down. It's like how it works with some fighting games where. We need to get the HP bar down several times. There we go. Oh wait, can we, hold on. Can I do that though if I attack the tail? Oh my god, I'm sleeping. I need a wakey wakey. Also Morgana is sleeping. This is bad. Uh, oh god. Thank you. Jesus. Got the tail. Oh my god. Woo. Thank you. Oh, I'm... Oh wait, I need to stand here to heal, I guess. Alright, let's get his tail. There we go. Okay, so yeah, there you can see by actually attacking several parts. The tutorial actually might have also said that, but, but you can destroy it, and it'll change its attacks so or make it weaker, which is very cool. That's a, that's a dynamic combat I was talking about. Yeah, to go to sun. So I think I saw somewhere before that you're also going to fight like a cyclops or something, and if you, you know, attack its arms or something, you cannot and break it. Then you know I kind of use it. Quest successful, yay! I actually don't know what the story was. Uh, whatever. Now choose, flee, or step forth. Take hold of what lies beyond. Claim mastery over the eternity. We're here to kill the dragon, right? Le plaisir délicieuse est toujours nouveau d'une occupation inutile. Inutile. Hmm. That's a big ass dragon. It's like a meteorite. Well now. And this is where you get to create your character. Uh, well, let me mail. 
Phoenix and Dirty Valley characters will be doing so. Okay. What the fuck? Is it not good? Okay, there we go. Command character space will parent tool enabled. Oh. Why does it say max instead of max? The fuck is that about? Ooh, there's some customization available. I'm a tall motherfucker. I'm 6'2", actually. Like this guy. Though he's a lot more muscular than I am. I think... He's 184. I guess this is more what I am. I mean, I have a little bit of muscles. I, I go to the gym. All these people are too tall. This guy may be. No. He's fatter than I am. Alright. Select for uh Sure. <laughs> Is this it? Can I not like edit his hair or something? He kinda has a derpy face. I actually currently have very short hair. This is like Leon from Resident Evil. My hair, my hair currently is shorter than this, so. like this hair but I guess this is the closest thing to my actual hair. Wait, can I kinda change the color? No, I guess that's actually the right color. I do have to rule so always in this to have very yellow hair, but whatever. Face shape. I'm at least glad that I don't have to fucking do all the sliders. Oh my god. What's the one I'm now at? 10. Jesus, you have a lot of eyebrows. Why does he look so mad? Fuck it. 
Yeah, that nose got to change, boy. Ears. I'm fine with the ears. Edit body. Preset body stature. What the fuck does that mean? Oh my god, I can do this manually. Whoa, this is literally how tall I am. I weigh 74 kilos. Fuck it. And I'm fucking why this motherfucker alive. Cool. Okay. What is it? Scars. 